Well, guys, I thought I would uh, give this thing a try. It's a Schumacher jump starter and portable power. And it says that uh, it will do V8 engines, 12 volt, lithium ion, 12,000 milliamp hour. I've never bought anything like this before. Oh, it's their number SL1316. I've never bought anything like this before just because, I don't know, I always carry jumper cables. But I guess it's not a bad, and I really hardly ever have any issues. But, you never know if you need to help somebody else out. The big selling point was I happened to see this at Lowe's on clearance for $59.40, regularly $132. So I thought, well, let me give that a try. If I didn't like it, I will return it. And there you see the number. Uh, I think those are the Lowe's numbers. Item number 904997. Model number SL1316. It comes with this kit bag and it has obviously the instruction manual. And then it comes with the unit and with various accessories. Now they fit really snug in here the way they have it. It's nice and neat initially, you know, the way they have it in here. Um, never sure I'll get it back the same way. But it does come with something like this. I think I will put this in a small hard bag, um, a hard case that I have a small one. I think it'll be a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. So let's look at the different components that come with this. First, your manual has various different languages. And like any time you buy something that's rechargeable, always, and it says that, but always recharge before you use the item. All right, it's got a USB cable, micro USB, for charging those devices that require that. This is your AC charger. This charges the unit, which I already have done. And I'm going to make a note, by the way, also, which is really nice. Every connector, all these things you see here, Everything has a different connector. You cannot accidentally plug the power cord into anything else, nor can anything else be plugged into the power. So everything has its own unique connector. Well designed. This allows you to adapt this unit so that you could plug something in that is 12 volt, your 12 volt accessory adapter right here. This item is your 12 volt mail connector. So if you've got something that you need to plug in, you could plug this in and supply 12 volts. And lastly, this is what you would use then to plug in to the unit here. And this allows you to jump start a dead battery. So let's take a look at the battery unit here. Again it's the SL1316 1000 peak amp jump start and um, it's got some quick information in the front if you need that and jump starting on the back side you'll see a few items now this is where you would plug in for your jump start right here that connector that you would hook up to your battery this connector is your 12 volt 6 amp output this is your USB 5 volts 2 amps you have a light and this is your input for 12 volts 1 amp now, your power cord and this both plug into there, but they're both for power sources. So those are the only two that will plug in here. Everything else is a different size. You can't accidentally plug anything else into where it does not belong. 
So let's take a look at the light button. When you hit the light bu button, the light will come on. If you hit it a second time, it does an emergency flash. Hit it again, it goes off. On. I'm going to wait a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit shut it off. But it flashes. So what you have to do is, if you want the light, no matter how long it's on, the next one will go to the flashing. So then you'll just have to hit it again to completely shut it off. So now let's look at the uh, USB 12 volt button. Now you'll turn that on and you'll see it scrolls. USB on, battery 100%. So that gives you the state of that battery. And it'll keep scrolling. So now I hit it again. It's for 12 volt on battery at 100 percent. I hit it again the unit shuts off. Alright let's take a look at the jump start button turn it on it says to connect clamps and the battery state of charge is 100 percent. And then that hit it again and the unit will turn off. Right, let's take a close-up of the unit. It's got a nice rubberized ends for a grip. It's got a nice solid feel. It does have some instructions on the front if you need them for jump starting. Now let's try the plug in for the jump start. That goes in nice and snug. Very nice feel. As you can see it's in there. That's not going to come out by accident. Now the cables that are on the uh, jump start adapter are 10 gauge rated at 200 degrees centigrade 600 volts very nice and the clamps have a nice spring action so they should more than do the job Okay, this is where you would have your output of 12 volts, 6 amps for your 12 volt accessory. USB Okay, so this is your input of 12 volts. So you would use that for your to charge this battery with the AC, or you can use this to charge the battery off your car using this male adapter. And it fits nice. All the terminals fit very well. No issues there. Now what I'm going to do is I want to see how this works. I've just got this set up here. My CP4 that goes to my astrophysics uh, mount and the keypad. And I've got it plugged into the 12 volt um, adapter here. So that uh, it, just like if you'd be running this off your car. So I've got it plugged in. So now if I hit the 12 volt USB first thing that comes up is USB on gives the state of the battery which is 100 percent 
Now we're going to hit this a second time to initiate the 12 volt. And you see the light came on. So now we are powered up. It's hard to see the red light, but that red light is on the CP4. And here, might be a little hard to see, but the keypad has initiated. It is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit that button to shut it off. You'll see. So now it's off. I'm going to turn it on. USB is on. I'm going to hit it again for the 12 volts. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so as you can see, I decided to put everything in this hard case. Um, it is an Apache 1800, which uh, is sold by Harbor Freight. These are nice boxes. I did a review on these. These, these are really nice watertight boxes. So I got a couple items underneath here because this thing sets on a slight angle. And then I've got uh, the AC adapter, the jumper cables, and then the 12 volt female adapter right here and everything closes up nicely and I'll just store that keep that in my uh, car so I'll give this thing a try hopefully I never need it this is one of those things like car insurance but uh, this might be safer to try to jump start somebody else rather than using my own car if you want to help somebody out and the big thing is going to be just monitoring this and making sure that the state of charge stays up high enough and just keeping um, having to charge it periodically which is why I don't know how long it'll take for this to lose a charge. No, on the box it says jump start and portable power. The SL1316 is ideal for charging all of your portable electronic devices such as smartphones, MP3 players, tablets, cameras, camcorders, GPS units, wireless headphones, and portable gaming systems. And here's a couple items. You can uh, pause the video. This will give you some of the highlights that it states on the box. And some information on the battery here and the contents.